Kin Pro. Uh, I'm Vinod. I've been with Katafi for over 11 years now. Uh, I have great experience around the customer experience and uh, contact centers for over 15 years now. So as I said before, um, I've had the uh, unique advantage of see, seeing personally how the customer experience domain has evolved, right? Uh, from what the customer's demands are, what the customer's expectations are uh, in terms of service uh, has seen a massive shift. Uh, so I've been through this journey and learned along and, and, and uh, you know, hopefully delivered value to a lot of our customers in this region. Uh, so I'm based in Singapore and I manage uh, all our strategic customers in this region, including Indonesia, right? All these Southeast Asia customers. Um, so that's me. And Tedify, uh, we are... Um, basically a omni-channel solution provider right uh, we bring in a unified platform that brings customer interactions through various channels into a single platform i think more uh, details down in further slides below right uh, in terms of what is the differentiating factor and where we come in right so uh, before we delve into the uh, amazing uh, uh, no the uh, area of customer experience i just want to let everyone know that this is not a one-way conversation uh, um, any any the beauty of any technology sharing session um, is the collaboration and the engagement uh, right uh, so uh, welcome queries and questions from everyone and uh, would like to engage and see how we can you know enhance our knowledge about the trends in customer experience right uh, thanks for that so before i go deep inside i think one of the hottest uh, buzzwords in the industry is AI, right? Uh, so I think even Eric Eric mentioned this. So one of the key things is we always believe, we strongly believe uh, that AI provides the tools for any enterprise to be able to scale faster, right? Uh, but at the same time, when it comes to customer experience, it's the human interaction, right? It's the real human interaction. And what is the intelligence you can build around that is what is key to delivering a great customer experience, right? AI is there to help or assist the organization's scale to be able to deliver to a large customer experience uh, a domain. But at the same time, it's the human interactions that plays a key part. And uh, uh, we strongly believe that is what uh, we are going towards, right? So a quick overview of the landscape of customer experience today. Uh, you can broadly categorize them into, into two parts, right? One is the CX itself, which is the customer experience. Uh, so if you see the customer's purchasing decisions today, a majority of a purchasing decision is, is determined by the factor called experience. What is the customer's experience with the brand, right? Uh, is it a positive experience? And uh, how? what is the ease of doing business or the ease of doing transactions with the organization, right? These play a very key uh, part in the customer's decision towards uh, a brand, right? So customer experience is no longer just a support or a service that the organization provides. It's in fact uh, boosting revenues. You know, it's it's you know whether you uh, give good a good customer experience and boost your revenues, or if you make it if the customers find it difficult or inconvenient to use your service it drops, the sales basically drops. And there are, there are real statistics uh, that are showing this today, right? So that's one, one key aspect of customer experience. And on the other side, uh, how can the customer self-service a variety of things, right? Uh, and at the same time, be assisted by an agent at the right time, assisted by a human at the right time for the right uh, topics, right? Not everything can be self-service. At the same time, I think with the with the advent of AI, uh, it's believed that AI will you know kind of be able to answer or respond to any customer queries. But it's important to understand how enterprises can blend them in a way uh, where customers can self-service certain things that they want without the need uh, to be able to talk to an agent. And at the same time, how can the the organizations uh, bring in the digital aspect of customer experience and be able to digital touch point with customers and provide uh, the self service and agent assisted channels to be uh, together right that's the uh, key blend that organizations need to bring in in, in the cx side now on the other side if you see below uh, right 
the other key aspect of providing a good customer experience is empowering your agents is empowering your internal employees with the right set of tools right so that's where ax comes in right so there is a lot of uh, especially with the pandemic and it has it has kind of shown the world that uh, things are possible to be done remote all right <clears throat> it's not mandatory or it's there is a choice again right we talked about customers choice of brand or customers choice of channel and at the same way uh, agents choice of uh, let's say even location right where they work from uh, and how hybrid or how can you support your employees in giving them the right tools uh, and flexibility and that goes a long way in how your agent can service your customers better right uh, it's clearly seen in some of the recent happenings as we can see uh, but there is a key aspect to that is the data privacy right a lot of these organizations deal with sensitive information customer information and we have seen huge uh, uh, you know internal thefts and you know uh, data paris privacy becoming a key topic so when you talk of ax and giving the flexibility of people to work from home or work from remote locations and service customers the key aspect is to see how can you secure how can you ensure that the the customers data is secured right uh, so these are two broad uh, landscape items that you know uh, organizations and enterprises need to consider in their cx journey right it's not just the cx part it's a bit of agent experience and it's a bit of data privacy uh, all these put together uh, is this the right uh, landscape to be looking at customer experience as right so on this uh, like i said now let me keep uh, to the customer side first right omni channel is a very generic term that's being used but if i have to put it in certain use case and how and where it plays an important part uh, like i think eric mentioned we are all customers as well right uh, all of us here are customers as well so as a customer the channel that i would like to use will differ from situation to situation uh, during travel let's say i'm commuting to work or i'm commuting uh, elsewhere uh, i wouldn't probably want to be taking a phone call and trying to uh, raise my query uh, to my service provider rather i would prefer to have a text uh, based support right uh, certain again certain specific uh, situations like customer is needs emotional support like i mentioned about you know losing a card it happened to me that i had lost my card once um, and the first thing you will want is to talk to someone because that person on the other line is going to suit you and he's going to tell uh dear customer don't worry right i'm going to block your card and 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 we'll show you a new one right so that the human interaction part that i talked about where uh, the emotional aspect of things comes into picture so that requires a voice channel uh, there are certain inquiries where let's say the millennials and the modern generation prefer to be uh, getting information over social messaging right uh, anything that happens with the organization they would like to first interact on social media i had this experience with so and so brand and 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 one of the good things is that that i see uh, as a trend is that both good and bad get highlighted these days right uh, if you provide a bad experience definitely customers uh, make sure that it's known to a wide a wider forum and at the same time you provide a good experience it is also uh, right shared in different forums like social media right so that is a very key for organizations today to tap on to right it's no longer just another uh, a side channel it's a very key channel for organizations to be monitoring and responding because a majority of the newer generations are going to be uh, interacting through those digital channels right and uh, <clears throat> how can customers self service themselves what are the various channels through which i can self service certain things myself right uh, not having to go to a branch with the advent of uh, digital banks pure digital only banks right uh, in fact indonesia has been the pioneer where uh, uh, the first in the region i would say to introduce uh, uh, fully digital banks right so we have seen the kind of journey that uh, that has been put to customers where it's branchless you don't need to go to a branch you download my mobile app uh, you can open up an account or you can get onboarded uh, into our system through there uh, you can do so one of the aspects in this journey is the verification how do you kyc a customer how do you make sure the authentic customer is getting on board right so that's where video has been one of the channels that's been 
introduced and then really helped right uh, unbank the uh, bank the unbanked right uh, people from remote locations to uh, don't have to travel to branches to be able to uh, have an association with the bank right that's the digital advantage uh, that that this channel brings in right so that way there are a variety of channels that customers would use in variety of situations but the key is how as our, as an organization you can tap onto it right if you are using multiple systems for each of these right the agent is not going to find it easy, right? I'm going to get a chat in system A and I'm going to suddenly pick up a call and put my headset on and talk to a customer. And then I open uh, an outlook and respond to customer emails. So that way, I think we are making the life of the agent difficult. Uh, so like I mentioned, one of the key things is, you know, you take care of your employees and they take care of your customers. That's right. That's the mantra, uh, right? Uh, so with this, if the agent is empowered with a platform where the customer's interactions are all integrated and unified into a single platform, that would massively increase the productivity of the agent. And, you know, that in turn will result in good customer experience, right? Imagine wait times getting shorter for a customer who's trying to get in touch with an organization, right? So that's a massive turnaround in the whole customer experience. So that's where Omnichannel is, is a very basic need today i would say it's not just uh, good to have right having a unified omnichannel experience to customers is a basic need today uh, expectation is almost like oh this is taken for granted i expect uh, this to be provided right so a simple use case right if i were to put through uh, the different channels that we saw on the previous slide in terms of a journey if you want to see it like a journey and this is uh, from a, one of our real implementations actually right so uh, <clears throat> a telecom customer right so if you can see through the use case you'll actually see how the different channels come into picture right uh, so let's say a customer has an issue with the wi-fi or router or whatever he uses at home right uh, so he can quickly get on to uh, certain digital channels that's available like let's say a mobile app uh, through which he tries to do some self-troubleshooting right uh, at the same time, let's say if he's not able to proceed with the instructions that provided or self service that's provided, in real time, an agent gets connected to him over a video call, right? And during the video call, the system is able to identify and quickly authenticate the customer. Okay, this is uh, who are you, right? And uh, the agent is then immediately on the spot able to help the customer solve his problem. Uh, this is by using video, this is by using, uh, you know, co-browsing and asking the customer, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? And I can, can I see your uh, router? Is this connected? Right. So this is a real use case that I'm talking of here, which uh, has been implemented by a telco customer in this region. And uh, what, what that they saw is the dispatch of support engineers, right? Technical support engineers came down by 50% or more in, in the first few months of uh, getting such a service on. Uh, and to the customer, if you see, it's a massive shift in the customer experience. I don't need to book an appointment. I don't need to wait for a support engineer to be dispatched and he comes on uh, come, comes home. Uh, I need to be available when he's coming, right? Whereas if you look at this particular use case, it's whenever the customer is available, you're servicing him. It's the other way around, right? So it's the ease of doing business, right? If, I, if I'm if i not at home, I, okay, anyway, I know I have a problem. I'll do it late in the evening, right? So the ease of the customer to be able to decide when he wants to get the service and be able to do it right from the premises of his place and his time, uh, all has played a great part, right? In, in terms of the NPS or customer satisfaction increase, uh, it has also reduced uh, in terms of <clears throat> cost, right? to be uh, dispatching a number of support engineers. It's a key cost saving uh, to the uh, service center, right? So this is not just uh, uh, what we are trying to envision, right? And I'm talking about a real use case and how it has helped. So that's the power of digital customer experience and what having the required tools uh, uh, helps organizations with, right? So if I were to now talk about how this blends uh, with the agent side of it, so as you can see, our platform, the Vision AI platform, uh, one of the key products uh, that we have, it, it has a certain elements of customer experience where using SDKs and using uh, APIs, 
uh, either partners or customers themselves can integrate and provide self-services channels on the digital side, right? Be it web or be it mobile app, native apps, Android, iOS, right? And from there, seamlessly bring the customer and engage with a real agent, a live agent or a video session or an audio session. The choice is there, right? Depending on the use case, depending on your uh, uh, business value, the channel of choice is there, right? And at the same time, the same Vision AI platform extends to the inside, right? the, to the internal, the employee side, where you're securing the customer's premise in terms of, you know, uh, what are the tools on his desktop? Is the data on the screen safe, right? Uh, and how can he collaborate with a supervisor? Because uh, one of the major, major things uh, probably I feel is taken for granted in this customer experience uh, domain is the uh, agents, what the agents go through, right? Customers share their frustration a majority of time to the agents on whatever channel they're interacting with, right? Uh, so it's important that the agent has the right tools to be able to collaborate, get the required help from the supervisor or from the team uh, and be able to service the customer. And that's key, right? Uh, we, in fact, even have uh, the ability whereby the supervisor can monitor from uh, the emotional state of the agent to see that, does he need a break now? I think he's exhausted. He looks to have had a bad call. Uh, I need to probably go and help him out here, right? So that's the part where we are leveraging the vision AI on the internal and making sure the agent and the employee gets the required support uh, to be able to service the end customer better, right? So that's the value uh, what, what this platform uh, we are trying to bring in and help enterprises yeah. with. A quick summary of the... Uh, uh, okay. Sorry, Andy. Oh, go ahead. This is the last slide, right? Probably a couple of them. Yeah, I'll quickly finish. Okay. So a quick overview of the stack. Uh, uh, basically, I don't want to go through each of the boxes here, but you can see on top is where the customer touch points are. You have the legacy channels and you have the digital channels and you know uh, the long uh, text-based channels, right? So we have connectors for each of these and uh, we have the central engine layer, the interaction workflow, which basically provides the self-service capability for variety of channels, be it voice or be it <clears throat> text-based. Uh, and then comes the agent side. So you basically fall back from a self-service to an agent. So the unified agent experience is the is the uh, multimedia agent console here. And it basically has uh, a unified platform uh, uh, with calling capability. And we have all the connectors to external systems. Uh, we talk about CRMs, we talk about NLP engines uh, and backend right, APIs to retrieve certain custom information and provide. So all of these are custom connectors that are available, right? And the data from the entire system is fed into uh, platforms like, uh, you know, uh, workforce management, because uh, all this data is required to be planning how the agents are required, when are the peaks, what are the uh, you know, time when you need more people. So all of that data is being fed into external systems as well, right? Uh, so with this quickly to summarize uh, the advantage or the uh, value that we bring in is, is that it's, it's digital first, right? Uh, mobile, web, or any digital first is our is our goal. And at the same time, we can coexist with legacy systems, right? So that's the key where uh, you want to go the digital journey. And at the same time, uh, we can coexist with existing telephony and there's no rip and replace, right? You have a platform today. Uh, we, would, we would always uh, not want the customers to rip and replace, but we can coexist and provide the digital capabilities on top of it. And the whole architecture is built in a way that it's modular. Uh, it's not necessary that you have to buy the entire stack or you have to use the entire solution suit, right? Uh, you use probably uh, chat and video. You use only email and SMS or voice and email, right? So it's a modular built architecture that allows customers to choose and plug and play uh, depending on how they build, right? So there's, there is this uh, build, run, and, you know, uh, jog and run, right? You can, you can decide how you move fast, right? So that's uh, the quick... Uh, what I wanted to share today and uh, thanks for this. Looking forward to the questions.